Oh, impressive! So, this is the plan Gyul was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! The door's giving! Let's give it a shot, Artyom! Come on, Artyom! You wanted to create a new world with this? Not happening! Your misguided attempt! I caught her! Take the Baron! It's the strongest who survives! You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom! Follow your dream. You're back, my love. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried-out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Gyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster? The inertia of thought that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? 
Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me. Just A. She'd hug me and say, One day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in. And from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much. But I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone, took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. 
That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Duke used to have one. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. Well, if that dance is not awesome, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> this is a genius <laughs> ah, Great job! Come on, guys, give it to your mom. Listen, guys. Is it so What is it? 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 What is Disgustingly nice and kind What did I miss? Yes, no, indeed. You should have I, seen them dance. Don't you worry, you'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Duke, Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, and much <laughs> deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. This yeah. place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, Congratulations, everyone! Yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. Yet, uh, this is not our last <laughs> order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, Prince! Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you, I take you to, to be, be my, my spouse. spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And for vow better to hold you for this day forward, for, 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 for better or for worse. For richer, <coughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness, in sickness and, and in health. health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death do us part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 What's happening? 
Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on to What's it. happening? What is it, Anna? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something, please! Don't crowd this her! Give her good. air! Damn! I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau, when they dragged me away, that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said How I don't have lungs. How can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artem, a few words. Artyom, go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. The old man is furious. Oh, Artyom's getting chewed out today. It's not Artyom's fault. I fell into that stupid bunker all by myself. And if Dad says one word to him about it, I'll tear him a new one. Yes. In any case, Katya will calm the Colonel down. You shouldn't worry either, Anna. She'll fix you in no time at all. She's good. So, son, care to tell Colonel, me what do we please. do now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress yes. for lungs. I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it been gas. My thoughts exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? <sighs> Anna coughed up some blood. Do you really think it's the sand? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for TB sure. we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. But what if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 minutes. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Poor girl. Now I understand why she was so down with you. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. Sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantel. 
Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right, a toast. To you guys, just be happy together. Great to you! Oh, yeah! Easy as pie! Полковник Васил приехал на фронт со своей молодой женой Полковник Васин созвал свой полк и сказал им, пойдем домой. Мы ведем войну уже 70 лет, нас учили, что жизнь это бой. Но по новым данным разведки мы воевали сами с собой. Я видел генералов, они пьют и едят нашу смерть. И дети сходят с ума от того, что им нечего больше хотеть. А земля лежит в ржавчине, церкви смешались с золой. И если мы хотим, чтобы было куда вернуться, время вернуться домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю к себе. А в кругу горят факелы, это спор всех погибших частей. I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there. Though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission.
Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for what? Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just kill It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Damn, this is one bumpy ride. The rail bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. This track won't hold the Aurora. Take the main one. Over. I see. This one requires some repairs. But this will hold us back. The plan stands. We're on the at the dam. How is the general situation there? The general situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Anna is sure to love it here. Over. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church for one. Guys, caught your friend, but I can see your two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. Gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later.